how we will celebrate Blessed Solanas Casey's feast day on Saturday. The Capuchin priest, known as the doorkeeper, is on the path to sainthood. Blessed Solanas Casey is remembered for his welcoming spirit, miracles, and his love for God. And joining us now is Brother George Korn and Brother Steve Crump from the Solanas Casey Center in Detroit, Michigan. Welcome to you both. Thank you for coming on. Uh, Brother George, I'd like to start with you. Um, for those who aren't that familiar, can you talk to us more about Blessed Solanas Casey's life and also his relevance today? Uh this is Salonis Casey, of course, he welcomed people, he loved God, and uh, he listened to people, and um, he prayed for them. And this is a very simple thing that we all can do, and uh, it will be very comforting to the whole he, uh, world that needs a lot of healing today. Absolutely. And Brother Steve, I understand that you all are in the middle of praying a novena for Blessed Solanus Casey. Uh, it's ending on his feast day. Um, what more can you tell us about that? Uh, it's been our tradition, actually, for a very long time, um, while Solanus was even still uh, venerable, to have this novena prayer that led up to the anniversary of his death. Um, since his beatification, his feast day was set for July 30th. His death anniversary is July 31st, which we're, we're, we're happy to give that date to uh, St. Ignatius, who already had it ahead of Solanus. Um, so we have a, a novena of masses that we pray uh, each day. We have two masses in our chapel. Uh, tomorrow is the final day of our novena of masses. Um, uh, we have a theme that we try to bring through uh, with the homilies. Uh, this year, it's based on a quote that uh, Solanus is very well known for called Blessed Be God in All His Designs. That's really, I think, how he lived his life. So um, we've been having, it's nice to see people back again and uh, welcome them into our chapel and also on our live stream feed for this novena. Yeah, that's beautiful. And Brother George, I want to go back to you. Um, as you know, Blessed Solanus Casey was really steadfast. Uh, in his belief of God. How do you think that he can be a help and also an example to those who may be struggling with their faith right now? Maybe a help or an example for those struggling with faith. Oh, certainly. I mean, he received every people, everybody as God's children. And um, especially he had a lot to say about uh, religion, you know, he spoke about religion as the uh, science of a happy relationship with God and with, with people, and also our dependence upon God and His people. And so, I think this is very much relevant today, and uh, it is uh, uplifting to most people. And uh, they can certainly relate to God and to others because it's uh, totally about relationship and our dependence and interconnectedness. Yeah. And Brother Steve, I want to get back to you. Uh, I know one phrase um, that's often, uh, you know, related to Solana's Casey, one of the things that he said that he's really known for is thank God ahead of time. And that's really such a great message, uh, a great message of gratitude to keep in mind. Um, are there any other sayings attributed to him um, that you really find inspiring? Yeah, I, you know, the, the kind of theme we're using this year for the novena for um, for the preaching, blessed be God in all his designs, as I mentioned before, is a, is a big one. Uh, it's very popular. We we publish it in everything that we publish um, because Solanus really did see God's blessings uh, throughout all of his creation. I think one of my favorites that I come back to um, was something that he said near the end of his life. He said, I wanted to give until there was nothing left of me to give. So that, I'm going to probably slightly misquote this, but so that with my last breath, I will be able to give that to God. And I, that was his life. It was just a constant pouring out of himself for the sake of others, but for the glory of God. Um, he was so also a very grateful person. And, and so he also... Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Brother so George, go he ahead, said, continue, you know, continue. He said, yeah, thanks. 
Uh, so he said this gratitude is the right or the best attitude uh, of a thinking rational creature. That actually grips me. And because we are, uh, most people, I mean, I myself, I'm not grateful all the time. He was always a grateful person. And that's, uh, it's a, it's a road mark, you know, to, to holiness, I believe. Absolutely. And, and thank you both so much for your time. I wish we had more time to speak, but unfortunately our time is up. Thank you both so much and God bless you. Thank you. God bless.